All right. All right. All right. Welcome everyone to the Autumn Detox kickoff call. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and it looks like we all got some extra. Um, let me see. Oh, that might be too bright. Let's see. Yeah. I think all right. Extra sleep on. Um, well, yeah, we fell back. We got an extra hour at the time of the taping of this call, which actually the only people who will get this is are the people who are in the group. So on this call, we're just going to go over just some of the things, some of the nuts and bolts of the detox, because I know a lot of that information that you can get, there's so much that it can be like, ah, it can be a little overwhelming. And we don't want this experience to be overwhelming. We want it to go with ease and grace, and we want it to be a smooth 14 days for you. So we'll be going over some specifics about all of that. So anytime, I'll, I'll have time for questions. You guys can, anytime you want to just chime in, that's fine. Because like I said, the only people who are getting this are the people who um, are in there. And I know that Leslie, she's another person, but she's in New York visiting her daughter. So I just want to say welcome, welcome. All of you know me, so I'm not going to go into... <laughs> Except for I've been doing support detoxes. I've called them cleanses. I've called them detoxes. And um, I've been doing those for probably five, probably six, actually, no, about six years was when I did my first one. Um, and it has evolved so much. I used to just do like three day ones. They were actually probably like five days. Like, um, and so they have really evolved the more I have learned. Um, and use these different tools and have uh, participated in different programs the more I've added on so I've got into where it's 14 days and stuff like that um, so even this one is different I know Andrea you participated I think last autumn weren't you in that one yes so some of the things the layout is a little different uh, this time in that and we're going to be talking about that in that the the prep phase because I feel like that is so important and a lot of times I'll have people do the prep on their own and we'll kind of do the prep and then we'll just dive into the detox whereas this time I really want us to do the prep as a group and really have that those like that foundation so we're going to be talking a lot about that since the prep phase begins tomorrow all right, so just know that the information received from me is not meant to diagnose prescribe or treat illness the information in this presentation, this workshop, this program is not intended to replace a one-on-one -on -one relationship with a qualified healthcare professional. Because if you got a good healthcare professional, doctor, physician, nurse practitioner, naturopath, whoever that might be, then they're going to be the ones who know you and they're going to be the ones who are going to be able to support you. So if you're on any type of medication, anything like that, it's always good to consult with them before making major dietary changes or lifestyle changes, or even doing a detox. Um, so this course is attended as a sharing of knowledge, information, and resources to celebrate and support your health. So today we're gonna talk about our goals and our intentions for the detox. Why detox in autumn? Chinese medicine in autumn. And then we're gonna go over specifically the zest and harm, the, the program so phase one phase two and phase three but really focusing on phase one because we will have other calls where we'll focus on phase two and three the seven health systems and the chakras your need to know and for you to be successful and support tools and any questions but like I said anytime you have questions you can interrupt I'm fine with that <laughs> so let's do a little <sighs> pausing a little meditation and yesterday was the full moon well I, I think it was like actually Friday I'm all confused like Friday night so it was like 1 34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time going into yesterday but you still have from my understanding is like 48 to 72 hours to actually do any type of full moon ritual meditation in fact I didn't do mine until this morning Actually, it was actually when I woke up, which was more like this afternoon. <laughs> so you still have time to do it, which is really, you know, the full moon is a time to really shine the light, shine the light on the darkness, shine the light on what no longer is serving you. And like I said, in the group, I was so excited. I never planned these around this. It was like, oh, it's the start of, 
you know, the detox and yesterday was the full moon. And as we end, it'll be the new moon. So this is perfect timing. Uh, so really during this time, just thinking about as we take a little pause, what no longer serves you? I did mine today. I used the essential oils that I were talking about. Myrrh, I don't know. I was just kind of drawn towards these. Um, myrrh, which is grounds you to the earth and earth energy, mother earth, you know, so very grounding, very nourishing to you, especially during the autumn time where we're going to talk about a lot of fear, sadness can come up. So that's very nourishing, a very nourishing oil. Cypress, which is a tree oil, um, so very, all these oils, very grounding. Cypress helps to really get things unstuck. So those deep kind of painful emotions, or maybe you just feel stagnant in your life, that helps to move things forward. So that is a great oil for that. And then neroli. Neroli, which I just recently started using, is a great um, oil to support us women in any type of hormonal transitions, but it's also good in igniting creativity and putting energy on whatever we want to push forward. Uh, so, you know, we're, lit we're shining a light on what no longer serves us and we're releasing that and then we're energizing what we want to create. So I'm, I'm just going to do that, but you can do whatever oil you want or not. And we'll just take a deep breath and And then you can close your eyes if you feel comfortable, relaxing your shoulders, feeling your feet on the ground. And just being aware of your breath as it flows in through your no nose, out through your nose and mouth. I'm really bringing to mind what it is that is really no longer serving you? What is it that you want to let go? Whether it be something physically, so it could be weight, it could be some dis-ease in your body, it could be stress, it could be pain. Whatever that is, bringing that forth. And maybe it's nothing, maybe it has nothing, maybe this, Detox is not about letting go anything physically. Maybe it's more emotional. So whatever emotions that are not no longer serving you. So, you know, it could be anger. And not that anger is a bad thing, but it is if we're not releasing that, allowing it to flow. Maybe it's agitation. Maybe it's overwhelm. Maybe it's thoughts. Maybe it's doubt, worry fear that's keeping you stuck from shining your light, from being your true and awesome self and bringing that forth in the world. Maybe it's that, and maybe that's what you want to let go. Maybe it's something in your environment. Maybe there's just clutter. Maybe there's paper clutter or stuff that you're holding on to. Maybe that's something that you want to let go or maybe wanting to create more of a space, a sacred space for yourself. Maybe it's a relationship that's weighing you down, that's bringing you down. Maybe that's what you need to let go. Whatever it is. Maybe it's something spiritually. Maybe it's just feeling there's a lack of faith, maybe doubt, maybe feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Maybe not having that trust, trust in others, trust in the universe. Whatever that is, and it might just be one thing, it might be one thing in each of those categories, just bringing that to mind. And as you breathe out, letting it go, really releasing it. And as that clears and that energy clears, bring in what your intentions are for today and for our 14 days together, what is it that you want as you release that and now you've created or allowed space to receive? So maybe it's physically, you wanna feel more vibrant, more energized. Maybe it's that you want to have a certain weight. Maybe you want your mind to be more clear. 
your stomach flatter, whatever that is. Maybe your skin, maybe you just want to have more vibrant skin physically, whatever that is. Maybe emotions, maybe you just want to feel blissful and balanced and in harmony. Maybe your thoughts, you want ease and flow, abundance and freedom, whatever comes to mind for you. Maybe in your environment, you want to be organized, clear, Maybe you want your environment to be warm and sacred, inviting. Maybe with your relationships, you want loving, connected relationships where you communicate and you're heard and you're seen and you hear and you see. Maybe you want to sorry, expand your tribe. Maybe it's a new tribe. Whatever that is. Breathing that in and knowing it is so, knowing that we are planting the seeds and setting the intentions. Allowing that to flow into your heart, allowing it to expand. And just for another second, seeing whatever else comes up for you, what other intentions that you want to set. And wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, opening your eyes, they were closed. Hmm, all right. So anybody, anything that anybody, I wanna give people just the space or time if anything came up for you that you just really wanted to share before we go on. Um. I think that I probably have things on several levels that I would like to release and I'm not really being particular about them. So I'm not results oriented. I'm more process oriented at this point that I would just like to, uh, you know, em emotionally I want to release anxiety because it's not necessary and it certainly doesn't serve me. And physically, I know that there's inflammation and toxicity in my body. And rather than analyzing it all, I just know that getting on a better path and really being committed to it, especially with the support, that my body will benefit tremendously. Even if it's, you know, just two weeks to start, it will really start things to, you know, start shifting things. I'm not concerned about weight. Whatever results I get will be wonderful because I know I'll get some positive results. So. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Jane. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love that because it's, it's, it's sounding like you're just open, you know, you know, kind of like, okay, where the toxicity is, but you're open to, okay, wherever this journey takes me. And I know that absolutely anxiety. And, and as we know, anxiety can cause, you know, anxiety can be cause some inflammation in our body. And so I, you know, just being yeah. aware of that and, and setting that intention. So yeah. So, and then let me know, you know, if anything specifically you need support on, but this okay. was definitely getting rid of some, of the, some of those inflammatory foods and our inflammatory thoughts and all that. Yep. Stuff will help to Absolutely. Me. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. So I, um, I think this is the third specifically detox program that I've done with you. It might be the fourth, but it's, um, I just wanted to say that because everyone has every single detox, there's been a different intention that I've set around it. And up until this point, I've always felt like I just need to detox to get back in balance. Like that's what it felt like. This is the first time where I feel a little bit goal oriented. Um, I have shared in different groups that three and a half years ago, I started living house free i live in different with different families and different situations and when i first started it i gained 20 pounds within a short period of time that i know was emotional weight it was like 
you know, you're going into different environments. Okay, let's bring on the weight for protection and safety and, and the unknown and everything. I lost 10 of those pounds, but I have felt really stuck. And it feels, I just feel heavy. You know, it's like, I feel heavy in my clothes. It, it's not that it's that much weight. And I'm not trying to get back to high school weight. That would be another probably 30 or 40 pounds. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I am a 60 year old woman. I, I just want to feel a little bit lighter in my body. So I'm setting a specific like five, five plus pounds I want to lose during this time. And, and the other thing is that um, I really got in touch this morning with how this whole thing about scarcity with food that, that, that I, again, it's like taking it to another level. I had an awareness about it that I'll go someplace and I'll be like, I'm not sure what I'm eating the next time. So maybe I'll eat a little bit extra and then come to find out there's a big meal two hours from that time and I'm eating that. And, you know, so some of that, like this scarcity, and I also end up carrying food in my suitcase, you know, not live food, but like cans of food, just in case I arrive and there's a food or which there's always food everywhere I go. There's too much food. So anyway, so I'm looking at the emotions of scarcity and how to, you know, I mean, maybe I do have a little protein bar that I carry with me just because there can be blood sugar drops mm -hmm. if I've gone a long time without eating and just know that it's there and even being willing to throw it away if I don't eat it mm -hmm. for three months or six months, you know, it's like, okay, let's put a fresh one in there. So I'm going to kind of play with that. Like, how do I really care for myself? And where has this kind of scarcity survival come up? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking at that. I also have sinus stuff that just, I, I mean, I, I've had a sensitivity since a child, but there, it feels like it's worse. Like I just feel like I'm, I'm in kind of a chronic situation. And so I'm really going to pay attention to the food, you know, what happens when I eliminate the foods and then what happens as I introduce the foods. I am designating a journal to the whole process and writing things down and keeping track of recipes. And it's also the first time that I've done this detox with you, Cassandra, where the time period, I am absolutely alone. I get to make my own schedule. I, it's the first time I've had like a low, uh, I, I only have two or three hours of work every day that I have to do. For my business that everything else is optional because I'm just finishing a program um, and I'm going to also open to any emotions that are coming up now that I've committed to never doing a nine-month heal my voice program again you know what are those those things so I did one of the things I do is I have a cardboard that I put on the dining room table that whenever I have an idea of something I think I might like to do business wise, I'm just writing it down. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, unless there's a clear guidance to take action on something, I am just collecting ideas this month. So I'm also emptying to get more in touch with my intuition. Nice. So I'm so excited. The timing of this is so perfect. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So can I, I share something for you to focus on? One of the things to focus on that might be a, when you were talking about the scarcity in the food. So that might the root, the root chakra. And it's funny, you have a red, as I said that you put your red cup. <laughs> and my red candle. Oh, wow. Well, see, colored candle that I have with me. The other that, <laughs> well, isn't that perfect? Uh, yes, yes. It's so root. root, root, and, and with sinuses, food, but also, you know, that's up, well, could be a, oh, it could be throat, but it's sounding more, you know, um, could be intuition. Um, 
so yeah, yes. So it'll be interesting to see and, and explore and, and play and see what comes up, especially around those emotions. Yeah, so thanks for sharing that. Uh, I, every time I do this, every time I think I've done the detox, I always participate. <laughs> I always kind of am in it and doing it. Um, and I just did with one of my mentors, Dr. Deanna Minnick, she did a 21 day detox. And that's where I get a lot of the, like the um, things on the health system. So she created the seven health systems, which embodies the chakras um so but she's in functional medicine and for that it's easier like if, if for her, people resonate more with that than the chakras but it, it has some of the chakra elements but i just did that and i focused on it was funny more of the sacral chakra the flow system and Probably in the last two years, even though I'm big on the food and I'll do the food, but my focus has been more on that emotional piece or on the thought piece. And even when I did my, um, my releasing today, it was more on like the, my, my emotions and thoughts. So that's going to be some of my focus. And it's, it's, it's kind of in the root, it's the root, um, some fear, the doubts, but also on that solar plexus. Um, just the balancing and being in alignment. Oh, and the sacral, I guess so. Being in flow, only saying yes to things, you know, really honing down more on my schedule and, and, and having just more space, more space in my life, in my, in my environment, in my brain. <laughs> so that's going to be uh, a lot of um, my focus and seeing what comes up and what blocks me because of many times that's been my focus and it's opened up more, but I've kind of, it's kind of like, wait, I've hit a plateau. Like, okay, why do I continue to bring stuff in and not really allow for that space? So that will be my, so Basically, we've kind of answered all of these, which is great. And you've all said how you kind of want to feel. So I just encourage you, you know, to just look at these questions and look at the questions in your workbook. And, you know, either you can do it on your computer or like Andrea, have a, a journal that really you can explore these different things and really looking at how do you want to feel? How is it that you want to feel? What is your intention at the end of this? Like, because we go, we will energize that feeling. If I want to feel blissful, if I want to have like this freedom in my space, then that's what I'm going to attract, you know? And so really looking at how you want to feel. And then I really encourage you to take the, um, in your email that had, like it said, recipes and all that, you can take the um, whole I think it's called, I'll look at it. Um, but basically it looks at the seven house systems and sees, and, and sees where you're out of um, balance. So looking at that. So, okay, so detox, you know, there's so many detoxes, so many different ones. And there's always like, what does detox mean? And what does cleanse mean? And I told you like, sometimes I've called it detox. Sometimes I've called it cleanse. Um, but detox is about cleansing your body naturally using real food. I mean, there are some hardcore detoxes out there. So I should really say <laughs> my detox is about cleansing the body naturally using real food because a lot of them are like, you know, it's about almost like a diet and deprivation. And, you know, you're just, you know, it might be doing some green powders or you might be, but that's more like fasting, you know? So this is really about letting go, detoxing, physically, mentally, spiritually, what no longer saves you, as well as in your environment and in your relationships, but adding in the support of things. So even though we're letting go, just like we did in that meditation, we are also right away bringing in things at the same times that are going to support us so that you're not gonna have, you might have some healing crisis symptoms, but they won't be as intense because you're bringing in the things that you need. So it's not about starving or depriving. All right, so why detox in the autumn? I feel like the, the best times to detox is springtime. Springtime, now my, my detox is a little more intense because it's spring and we have more energy. And you think about the foods, they are lighter and we're, we're preparing ourselves to go into the um, summer and we're 
in traditional Chinese medicine, that is the yang time of year, you know, go focus. We're having more light, whereas the autumn is more yin focused. So we want to kind of go, you know, step back, reflect, contemplate. And so it is a time of slowing down. It's going more into that yin time. So this is a good time in preparing you to go into the winter time. So Chinese medicine, um, and many of you are probably familiar with this, is that the element associated with the autumn is metal. So metal, you know, metal, when we think about metal, metal is very solid, right? But it doesn't have any flexibility. So what can show up is when our metal or our autumn is out of balance, what is it? We can be very rigid. We might not like change. We can be very, we can be almost stuck or stagnant if we think about metal. But metal is also very, think about it, it's very like if you think about a piece of metal, I don't even have a piece of metal, but it's very, it's kind of like structured and orderly. So those are some of those positive things. If you think about people who have kind of that metal personality, they're just, they're very structured, they're very um, organized. Um, and so that's the, the element is metal. Now the organs are the lungs and the large intestines. So during this time of year and during this detox, we want to focus on what can we do to support our lungs? Well, some of those things are deep breathing, getting outside in nature. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful this time of year. I just think everything is perfect. You know, it's like how God created, how mother nature, like it's perfect. This is the, the things that we need to focus on, the lungs, um, and also movement, but not intense movement. That might just could be walking. That could be hiking. Um, that could be yoga. Also, it's the large intestine. So our large intestines is about letting go, huh? letting go. And so that's why this is a perfect time of year to do a detox because it's looking at and going within and seeing what no longer serves you. But this is also about supporting your large intestine, you know, making sure and we're going to talk about this drinking plenty of uh, water, also uh, eating foods that are high in fiber, and, 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 and also lessening the amount of foods that cause inflammation. The emotion uh, is grief and sadness. And so that's what might be coming up, you know, for you, grief, you know, and that doesn't necessarily mean the loss of someone through death, even though it could, it could be like, um, Andrea was talking about like letting go of her nine month program. That was her baby. 11 years, isn't it 11 years? 11 years. And so to let that go, some grief can come up. You know, even though it's a choice and she wants to and there's new things, but allowing that and knowing that that can come up. I know for me, during this time, I've decided to um, stop my therapy practice. Now, it won't happen during this. It's going to happen March 31st is the date. But that whole process, and even though that's something I want to do, there's still like, oh, my goodness, I've had these clients for like some of them five to six years and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna see them. You know, like it's almost like I'm like their mother. Like I'm not gonna see them. Like one's getting married, and you know, in the summer, and I'm just like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to experience that process of them telling me about that. You know, so also sadness, and a lot of this comes up because if we think about our ancestors, depending where they lived, autumn time, if they had the seasons, was did they plant enough food? in the summertime that they could harvest. So if you go to the farmer's market nowadays, you know, like I didn't get to go this morning because I didn't work last night, so I didn't go. But there is such an abundance of food. <laughs> There's so much. There's like squashes and broccoli and cauliflower and stuff. But the thing about it is also the they so as we go into winter, they want to make sure that they have enough. So a lot of times that the 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 um emotion that can come up in the winter time time is actually, you know, like fear, you know, did I have enough for my family? Did I cook enough? I mean, not cook enough, but did I plan enough? This grief is the grief from now we're going from, ah, it's sunshine, that yang. So there could even be grief. I know for me, for many years of, I didn't like the fall because that meant winter. And I wasn't the type to go within and settle down. 
<laughs> yin energy, I had some grief around. <laughs> I wanted yang energy. So, um, so just know that that's natural. If you find that even doing this detox, you're like, oh my goodness, I am feeling a lot of sadness. This doesn't make it. No, it's all part of the process and it's all good. And allow it to come up, you know, and do what you need to do to support. The flavors are pungent. Um, so you think about pungent flavors, you think about like the seasonings, like garlic, you're going to make more things with garlic and, and onions. And you think about even like the root vegetables, like turnips and turnip greens and mustard greens. They have like that pungent flavor. The other thing is like the spices. So we think, you know, autumn spices, cinnamon and cloves and nutmeg, all those good things, you know, that we use around if we celebrate the holidays. And then the color is white. So that's also white foods, cauliflower, uh, cabbage, again, garlic, onions, leeks, all of those things um, are great to have and what we're going to be having during our um, some of the foods. So any questions on that, on the um, traditional Chinese medicine and stuff? All right, so the program phases. So this is where it can get like, you know, where it can be overwhelming when you're getting all that information. So we're gonna keep it simple. There's three phases, there's phase one, which starts tomorrow, but you could have started today or you could have started this week and it's okay. And this is really about the prep phase. And, and like I said, this time I'm focusing more on that to really prepare us and prepare that structure, that foundation, our root, so that we're gonna have more success during the phase two, which is like the detox. Now the whole thing is detox because even during the prep phase, you're gonna be detoxing. So, but it's just, easy to say these words, pre-detox, detox, but let me know, let me tell you that if you've never done one, you're going to be detoxing the whole time. And then there's phase three, which is just adding back things in and then noticing your symptoms. Each time we go into a new phase, we're going to have a call. So the, the phase that I want to focus on today is phase one. Oh, and yes, let me see. Okay, yes. I wanted to make sure because I added that in. Okay. But before we go into specifics about that, your program material. So I am going to pull that up for you. Um, Okay, so the one thing is the workbook. So do you see this? Do you see my slides? Because I can't. Okay, so the one thing is the workbook. This is something that you want to make sure you do for yourself because you want to see this is where I started and this is the progress I made. You kind of want to see, hey, did this actually work for me? Because a lot of times when we're kind of doing it and we're not kind of writing that down, and it doesn't have to be this, it could be journaling. It could be just taking notes on the computer, whatever works for you, but kind of knowing like, okay, this was my weight. This was my energy. This was my emotion. These were my intentions. I really highly recommend the toxicity and inflammation quiz because you will be surprised like, oh, these are things that are actually, wow, I just thought this, I just thought I was chronically constipated, which I was growing up, but it was because I was toxic. Um, you know, but they even have like, you know, if you're feeling fatigue or sluggish or restless or anxiety or depression or mood swings, that it can actually be toxicity. Most, and most of the time it is. So working on that, doing that, I really highly recommend you do that so you can look and then answering these questions. And there's a number of questions. I'm not going to go through all of them, but it, you know, how does your body feel now? How would you like it to feel? You know, it goes back to that feeling. How are your energy levels? Do you feel happy, confident, and content? Um, how can you transform the can't or shouldn't into can and will? So a lot of this is, yes, body, but also emotions and mind. And then um, your intention, so this goes more in detail about your tensions and your vision. And then a commitment. This is a commitment to yourself. And I really highly encourage you to do this. Like, 
I commit to supporting my body and spirit as they have supported me for all these years. I commit to being honest with myself and others. I commit to cleansing myself of negative self-talk. I commit to cleansing myself of negative talk of others. I commit to having a body that is radiant, energized, clear, and strong. I commit to making time for myself and taking care of myself so I can receive the full benefits of this program. I commit to focusing on my desired outcome rather than getting caught up in how I will get there. I really encourage you all to read those, if not, you know, at least once at the beginning of the program, at each phase or each day, because the power of that commitment is that you're committing to yourself and you'll get the results that you want. And then you can have, this is just something that you can just write your notes, but it's just optional. You can do it yourself in you know, a journal or paper or anything. So that's the workbook. Now the detox, so we get, this has all the um, information on the detox, why detox, the phase one. So this is what I want to focus on, this phase one phase. So the phase one phase, they have the daily, we have the daily protocol. And basically, because again, like I said, you want to support yourself as you're eliminating foods. So early tomorrow morning, we're going to focus on tomorrow, the body, preparing your body for this detox. So I'm going to be sending a whole email and most likely a Dropbox link that has different things in there. You don't have to do each and everything to be successful at this program. You can choose to do one thing, to focus on one thing. I know, and that's where it can get like, oh, I, I got to do it all, and I'm not doing it all, and so it's not perfect, and so I'm, this isn't good, and then you become overwhelmed. No, just choose one or two things that you want to focus on, um, on this detox, and you will be successful. So you just want to make sure that, you know, starting tomorrow, you start drinking your lemon water elixir. I have mine today. I drink it every day. Like, I actually, this is... I do hot water because it's the autumn time. I do half of lemon, half fresh lemon that I squeeze in here. And then I sometimes will do fresh ginger, uh, grade fresh ginger in it. And sometimes I'll do the ginger and a dash of cayenne pepper. Today was cayenne pepper <laughs> and um, lemon because I was feeling like my throat was getting scratchy. And I'm telling you, this knocks things out. So you could just, you know, Add those, or you could just do water and lemon, but you want to make sure that you're getting that lemon's very alkaline, plus you're hydrating your body, and you're starting yourself out right. So that's the one thing I really encourage you to do each and every day. You can do tongue scraping. We'll talk about that. You can do the dry skin brushing, um, and then taking a probiotic. We're going to talk about that a little later. If you don't do a probiotic, I really just encourage you to get um, either cultured vegetables, sauerkraut, kimchi. Nowadays, they even have all types of cultured vegetables or um, water kefir. Um, they sell that. Or if you do a yogurt, just make sure it's unsweetened yogurt because you really want to support your digestive system. So this, like I said, has all of the stuff. And then I want to go to page 23. Uh, 23. So 23 is detox, do not eat list. <laughs> what not to eat. This is the foods that you're going to start eliminating. You don't have to eliminate them all tomorrow. This is the thing. I will send you and say, on this day, start. So tomorrow you do, if you're a coffee drinker, you want to start lessening your coffee. I'm going to send you a whole thing on how to do that over the next four to five days, how to lessen your coffee. Because if you kind of go cold turkey and you're a coffee drinker, you can have headaches um, and feel irritable. Some people do that. I've had people in the clips like, I'm just doing it. I'm, I'm not, I can't. They, they, for them, it didn't work to kind of like wean off. They just wanted cold turkey. And they did it and they, <laughs> they were fine. Um, so you, you know yourself and what works best for you, but I will send you a protocol on how to do that. Sweeteners, eggs, soy milk, yeast, alcohol, dairy products, corn, cheese, gluten, grain. So um, lunch meats, potatoes, beans. Now, the reason I say beans, except for lentils, mung beans, and aduki beans, those are ones that you can have. The only reason is because these can be very starchy and sometimes we can be sensitive and it can cause inflammation. 
potatoes except for sweet potatoes and yams. So over the next four days, you can start lessening your coffee. Tomorrow you can do, you can do I would dairy and I'll send you, you know, what you can do tomorrow. Then on Tuesday could be um, more the, the corn and the soy and then on the other ones can be the grains. And so you just kind of pick a couple to stop and when you stop that on that day, then you don't eat them the other days. And that can help you um, go into the phase two of the detox where you won't be eating any of these things. But some of you probably don't even eat some of the things on here. Um, so any questions on that? Like I said, I'll kind of, I will send you a guide tomorrow where, okay, this day, if that works for you, but you can also do it. Like you're like, well, you know what? I'm here. I kind of eat eggs and I do cheese and I do gluten and those are the, and I do a, you know, cheese, um, gluten and eggs. And so you can just be like, okay, on Monday, I'm getting rid of cheese on Tuesday, eggs on Wednesday, gluten. And on Thursday, I'm all right. <laughs> so any questions about any of that? All right. And know that that will, um, I'll be posting also in the Facebook group. That'll be where a lot of things take place, but I'll also be sharing that. All righty, so we'll go back to the slides. So then your shopping list, oh, the shopping list and the meal plan. With that, you can be as flexible as you want with that, meaning you, can, you don't have to follow that meal plan. But what you want to do is follow the foods <laughs> on the do not eating list and on the eating list. Um, and I know that the last time is like, and I put in there like the broth or the almond milk. No, I don't have, I don't have time. I've made almond milk. I've made Brazil nut milk. I don't have time. To, <laughs> I don't make time for it. <laughs> I should say, cause actually it's an easy process. I don't make time for it. So you can buy almond milk. You just want to make sure you're buying unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened coconut milk or unsweetened um i don't even have hemp milk and cashew milk i mean they have all types just make sure it's unsweetened i find that if you have the ones with vanilla it tastes better the broth you can make your own broth or you can buy i just buy the broth the organic like trader joe's has an organic broth whole foods has organic i mean giant there's so many grocery stores that now have organic broths you can get those um, and you can substitute different things. You know, there's some people who are like, I just don't eat that, or they know they're sensitive to it. Um, so you can substitute, um, different things. Also, we're going to talk about the meats and fats. You also get handouts and bonuses, and I'll be sending those in the drop box. Now the seven symptoms of health, I'm not going to go into those, but really when we get into the seven days of the detox, we're gonna be talking about the root on one of those, and that's you know our, our foundation. We'll be talking about the flow on the second day, the fire on the third, the love, the truth, the insight, and so forth. So we'll get into more details on that. So phase one, like I said, tomorrow we're gonna to be focused on preparing your body. I'll be sending you different things on that. And Tuesday we'll be focusing on preparing your mind and thoughts. And then, and so we'll, we'll be talking about different tools. Also, I'll be sending you different tools and resources. And we'll also be, you know, sharing the Facebooks or the, if, if there's certain things that you do and that you have that have helped you or have, you know, that you use, please do share, 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 share. Uh, November 8th, which is Wednesday, focus on preparing your environment and tribe. So this is when we're going to be cleaning out our refrigerators and our pantry. Um, it's, and it's, it's easy if you, are you know you live alone or you have somebody who <laughs> supports you <laughs> in, in in what you're doing because this is where you can really like eliminate stuff that you know that you're not supposed to eat so that you don't want to get tempted by that and really put in those foods so we think about it this way crowd in the good so that you don't even notice the other things and then our try you know it's really about sharing this with others meaning like you know what I'm doing this and asking. I know that was challenging for me when I did the 21 day um, detox. It was from September to October when they were like, I was like, I don't really want to, who cares? And I, <laughs> but I did tell a couple of friends that I was doing this. And um, 
my husband always knows because I can get irritable during sometimes during the detox. So I always say, you know, I'm doing a detox. So just so you know, I might be a little irritable. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> um, and then on Thursday, we'll focus on detoxing our emotions. So that's going to set us up. That's going to be phase one. Like I said, you'll be getting emails and support. And many times I'll probably be doing a Facebook live video. So keys for success. And this is keys for success for the entire program. Hydration, so key. This is so key. Whatever you do, make sure you're drinking plenty of water. And how much water? Half your weight in, in ounces of water daily. Now, I say that with a caveat in that you're going to be doing a lot of smoothies and broths and soups and not as much as the high water content fruit, but you will. So you don't have to do half your body weight because you're getting a lot of fluids, but close to it. You just want to make sure that you're hydrating because we, part of this detox is stuff is going to come up and we want to make sure that we're flushing our system. You can always add a lemon and lime to enhance and knowing that in the morning. So what I do is in the morning with that a lemon elixir, I do like 16 ounces during that time because guess what? That's 16 ounces down. You know, if you do that, you're hydrating and um, you can get more. And also you're drinking a lot of teas. So that can kind of count if you're feeling like, well, I'm, I'm hydrating. I go to the bathroom and I look and my pee is clear, <laughs> then you're, you're, you're hydrating, but you just want to make sure that you're getting an, enough water in to help with the detoxification process. Other thing is like we were talking about gut health. So that is so important. So probiotics in our guide, there's some recommend, recommendation for probiotics, but if you use a probiotic that you felt like works for you, good, you know, and that would be to take one at least like 45 minutes after you've had like your lemon elixir, you know, like first thing in the morning, but maybe you don't, I don't. So I go through phases. Sometimes I'll take probiotics and sometimes for months I won't, I haven't taken a probiotic in months, but I do a lot of fermented foods. I do a lot of um, fermented sauerkraut and they have so many brands. Now you want to make sure it's the live one, not the one that I had growing up, which was the jar one on the shelf. <laughs> That would didn't have any probiotics in it. It was cooked, and my grandma would cook it with potatoes and hot dogs. <laughs> so it wasn't, you know. So you want to make sure you get the one that's refrigerated. Like I think there's farmhouse. I can even post all the different ones, and and they have so many great flavors. I read a study that said that they did a study. I can't even remember, but it was on. Uh, this community who was eating sauerkraut and they would eat like a tablespoon a day and they found that they got less colds and flus because this is so important to get that good bacteria into our stomach. A so lot of Sandra, time, yes. Sandra, when, when you say the refrigerated section, so it would be like sauerkraut that came in a bag or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, some of them come in a bag. Some of them come in, um, in a, uh, Oh, a container. Hold on. In fact, I have one. All right, here we go. Actually, Trader Joe's has this one comes in a container and it's, um, like it'll say, it will, it says Trader Joe's sauerkraut with pickle, Persian cucumbers, and it's really good. And so it just cabbage, Persian cucumbers, and so it comes just like this. And this okay. is so good. But they have container ones, too, and they have the bag ones. So good question. Okay. Um, and another one that you could do is kombucha. Now, I say this, you got to be careful with kombucha. you got to read the amount of sugar in it and for some reason they even they now kombucha if you've ever made kombucha which i have they add sugar to it if it has like 18 to 20 grams of uh sugar in it you don't want that you really want this used to have like less than three and now it has like six which is still a little bit high 
to me, but kombucha can be another one that you can have um, and you can buy. Synergy is a good brand and Kavita is a good brand. The other is, like I said, kefir, um, coconut water kefir. And I can um, post the different ones on, on our Facebook group. But okay. getting that fermented foods in is really good. And that's going to help support your digestive system and getting that good bacteria and help with the digestive process. Also, foods high in fiber. Really, we should be getting like 35 to 40 um, grams of fiber a day. I don't always get that either. You know, it's, it can be challenging. I think I, I, I think I have a handout that has like foods high in fiber. If I do, I will... Um, Put that in like the Dropbox that I will send you all. Aloe vera juice, that's an excellent one um, that you can do. The aloe vera juice is very good for your digestive system. It helps with the detoxification process. It is um, very soothing. Um, it can even help with like sore throats and stuff like that. So it can help with like during the detoxification process, you might find that you get more, your, your bowels actually slow down and that you feel more constipated, aloe vera juice, great thing. You can either drink it. I like it plain because when it is added to a smoothie, it can take, take over the taste. So I just actually like just drinking like a shot of it. Right after my water, I drink a shot of that, and that is, um, can be very um, beneficial. And warming spices, you know, and that could be that are in teas or added to your food. So that would be, like I said, the ginger. I like fresh ginger. I like ginger tea. Um, cinnamon, cinnamon's another warming spice because this helps to get those juices flowing in your digestive system and helping it to digest the food because a lot of times, and it helps to decrease inflammation. So cayenne, cayenne pepper, you know, um, turmeric is really good. Um, any of those cardamom, even our pungent spices like oregano and rosemary and all those very good in helping decrease inflammation and helping with the di digestive process as well as the detoxing process. So protein and detox. So this, and it's funny, I used to do where my, my detoxes were all um, vegan. <laughs> they were always like everyone went, but I recognized that actually, and even with that I had where you had a protein shake, a vegan protein shake. Pro, um, protein is very important in the detoxification process. And so you can eat clean sources of protein, um, actually like turkey or chicken or um, let's see, turkey, chicken, even fish. And that can help in smaller amounts during the detoxification process, you know, doing this detox. But you can have that if you choose. If you are a vegetarian or a vegan, then it's going to be more of the plant sources of protein, which is basically because if I'm lessening the amount of beans and grains that you have, you're like, how am I going to get that? It's getting a good um, protein powder. And I will also give you information on some great protein powders to add in. And that's what I do. I have protein in my smoothie um, each morning. You know, you want to get um, some protein because that's also gonna help with your energy and it does help with the detoxification process. Fats and detox. So if you are feeling like you want a deeper detox, then you can eliminate the fats. That means eliminating the avocados, eliminating the oils, because if you really want your liver to cleanse your liver. So say you feel like, well, do I got some liver issues going on? And, and a lot of times that happens in the springtime, the liver. So if you've got some anger, some agitation going on, so energetically it could mean, you know what, I need, I need to do a deeper detox and, you know, give my liver some rest and to give it some rest is not to have the fats. I love fats because I feel like fats keep me <laughs> satisfied because of my sugaraholic days. And so now I don't crave sugar because I have more of the healthy fat. So I actually will have an avocado one or two a day. Um, no, probably one a day. Uh, and coconut oil. I cook with the coconut oil and I make olive oil salad dressings and stuff like that and nuts and seeds. Um, so you got to know, I have another friend for her when she has fats, it actually weighs her down. She does not feel good. She feels more sluggish. 
I feel like fats actually give me energy. So this is a time just to explore, just to explore, to listen to your body and see, you know what? Hmm, what is my body telling me I need to do? And like, you know, you'll find each time you do this, each time is different. Your body might be telling you something this time, whereas you might do this another time, and it might be saying, no, nope, we're gonna do it this way. So just listen, tune within and see um, that. But you can have fats and you can have healthy fats in this, uh, but if you wanna take it deeper, you can get rid of those. So some detox supporting tools. Um, and let me see, so I have about, I think three or four more slides, just so you know, so about 10 more minutes and then we'll be wrapping up. The detox supporting tools, this is um, all in your guide, your detox guide, dry brushing. That, so I would, I, I would encourage you to look at these tools. Maybe put, pick two or three that you're going to do during the detox and at least one of them that are you gonna do um, consistently. Dry brushing. Dry brushing is amazing because it helps to um, get the toxins on our, out of our lymphatic system. And there's not too many things that do that, that get toxins moving out of our lymphatic system. But dry brushing is one. A rebounder is another one. Jumping on, um, what are those? Oh, what am I? Trampoline. <laughs> Jumping on a trampoline. Oh, my goodness. I did that with my nephew this summer. Wow. I was like... Yes, yeah, so it got things moving. Um, but dry brushing is amazing. And so you'll get, um, it tells you how to do that in the, in the um, guide of uh, dry brushing. Essential oils to support you, um, you know, and I'll send you a whole thing on that. Essential peppermint, because you might have some healing crisis symptoms. This is when we start eliminating the toxins. The healing crisis comes, and this is just our body getting rid of the toxins. It is okay. So if you have a headache, that's just some things releasing. So peppermint essential oil is really good for that. Lemon, rubbing lemon on your liver, like just on your liver can help to absorb in that and detoxify your liver. If you're feeling fatigue, rubbing rosemary on the back on top of your like kidneys where your adrenals are i'm telling you i've done this and i've been like woo it's waking me up so those are some things lavender if you're feeling agitated if you're feeling you know irritable just smelling or um putting a lavender in a diffuser can help to just calm things so you just see which ones and i'll be i'll be sharing different ones that can support you during this time um uh contrast shower how many of you have you all done that yeah. So. so that one is like you, you're taking a warm shower and then you put it on cold water for like, it's like, like 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> yes. And then you put it back on warm and then you put it on cold. And let me tell you, well, what it does, it, it, it's another thing that can help with your lymphatic system. I actually learned this from a, uh, she was a naturopath in Hawaii. And this actually helps to boost your immune system. Before people came, she said, were coming to visit the States, she would actually have them do this to boost their immune system so that they weren't so prone to getting you know, sick by coming over here during the winter time. So this is a great one, especially this time of year. I have done this and it really does support your immune system. But woo, and it's exhilarating. So you need to be waking up. <laughs> I start screaming and then I start laughing because I think my husband's thinking, what is she doing in the shower? And it just cracks me up. So that's a good one. Castor oil wrap. I always highly recommend, you know, if you've got some liver things like some anger, some agitation going on, you feel like, you know, I need to move things from my liver. Castor oil pap is amazing and you can do that. And then you only have to do that maybe like once or twice. And it's also very nurturing and you feel so relaxed and it helps with sleep. Sauna, great way to get the toxins out of our skin, to move things. This is another one. If you can do one of these, just one, I mean, a sauna one time during a detox, it's going to have extreme amount of benefits because it can really release those toxins. Also a salt you know, now they have salt rooms. Going to a salt room can really help. And that's also helping with your lungs because it helps with breathing. So getting in a salt room. Um, Epsom salt bath. Hey, you can't do that. I also recommend at least once 
doing an Epsom salt bath, usually during in the middle of phase two or at the end of phase two. And you can do that with Epsom salt. You could add some baking powder. You can add some ginger. You can add some essential oils. And it causes you to sweat, especially if you add ginger to it. Um, really powerful. But I'll also be sharing these recipes with you on how to do that. Tongue scraping. If you got a lot of candida or yeast, I don't usually have that. Uh, if I scrape, I usually don't. But you'll know because it'll be like when you scrape it, it's like a thicker mucus and kind of white. And that could come up while you're detoxing. So that's good to do in the morning as we were looking at like your protocol, tongue scraping. But if you don't, like I don't get that, so I don't, I don't tongue scrape. Oil pulling, another one, and there's all information in your guide on oil pulling. Just remember, so you can do that with sesame oil or coconut oil. That helps to clean out like the bacteria and yeast in your mouth. You just want to make sure that after you switch, so my thing is to save time because you could be like, well, I don't have, this is a lot. I don't have time for, I will dry brush. I'll do the contrast showering. And then I'll do the oil pulling while I'm meditating. <laughs> because you're sitting there for 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm like, I'll just I like do that. And then I, but you want to make sure you don't spit in your drain, especially with oil because it can clog it up. So you just spit it in your trash can or in a um, plastic bag and put it in your trash can. All right, questions about all that? I forgot also neti pot. Neti pot is really good too. There's so many tools, but I'll, I'll be sure. Neti pot, especially during this time, and Andrew, you were talking about like for your sinuses, really good to do the um, neti pot to clear out because that helps to clear. So we think about all these tools are clearing and cleansing our body and we think about our body is amazing and so protective and so we have all this cilia in our nose and we're breathing in all these things flying around and it, it and our body is like we are going to protect you so it forms that but it gets clogged in there and then if we're not like rinsing it out then it can be like okay where's it going to go and then we could be like breathing in and then getting it up into us and then getting a cold or some kind of illness so that's a great cleansing tool to do for the, um, you know, neti pot. Yeah, I, I use that. I am using that. The oh, good. I found, I found that's kind of the sanity for me. You know what I mean? Like my body is just like, thank you. Right. Bring it out. Yeah, so that's great. Thank yeah, you. great. Most of all, like I said, listen to your body. I mean... Neti pot for well, for a couple years, I was doing that all the time in the autumn and in the winter time. Last year, I didn't do it at all. I just wasn't, I just didn't feel like I needed it and I didn't do it. You know, in fact, last year I was doing more, um, every day I was taking frankincense and shea butter and massaging my feet, the bottom of my feet. It was so delightful. I was like all the tension in my feet, all that. I did that for like, like a couple months, you know? So it's like you find out what your body needs, your body will tell you. And then, you, you know, so you have this whole like kind of tool, toolbox and you say, okay. And it, sometimes you might need all the tools. Sometimes you might need one. Sometimes you might need, need something totally different, you know? And so we'll be posting about that in the Facebook, like, oh, well I do this. like. The salt room was something I knew existed. I haven't gone on to one, but in the last uh, detox that I personally was, you know, participating that I told you about, they were talking about that and the benefits. And I thought, oh yeah, you know, that, that's one. And I'm feeling drawn to do one of those during this detox is to go to a salt room and, you know, feel those benefits. So that is... I think, yeah, I think that was everything. So questions, um, comments, you know, anything that you feel like, you know, I, I, I went through the material, but you didn't discuss this. Now, like I said, the phase two, we will be having a, um, our next call. I think I said Wednesday, it might be on Thursday because I kind of shifted things. And so phase, um, Phase two is starting on Friday instead. And so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the call on Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to see how that goes. But I'll let you know. I'll let you know by tomorrow <laughs> which that is. But any questions, comments, anything that came up for you, either listening or in the reading, 
or anything you feel like you need support with right now. Nope. I, I just want to say something out loud because I can feel myself um, like contracting so that I don't share or whatever because I, so I just need to say this out loud to, to people. I have just spent 10 years focused on Heal My Voice and the last nine months have felt like I have been plugged in 24 seven. Mm. And leading up to this time where we literally have like three more days in the program, I set it up that I have a friend who is in Europe getting some treatment for her chronic condition. And I've set it up to have this self care but being a woman who thrives on productivity and all, I can feel myself like, I just don't want to put pressure on anyone. Like I'm this overachiever. And, but I just need to be able to say out loud what I'm doing to support myself. So I, I want to say, I'm not trying to pressure anyone. There have been times where the detox, I've been happy that I'm doing a smoothie every day. Like that was enough that I, you know, even if I didn't eliminate everything or whatever, but this time I am ready like a hundred percent. So I'm inspired to go find a salt room in this area. I'm in uh, North Seattle. I'm, um, uh, I found a yoga place where I could do 30 days of yoga, unlimited yoga, and it has yin yoga, and it has tai chi, which are two of my favorites to do. It really is supportive. And so I just want to, I can just feel there was this part of me that's like, I'm feeling a little bit like a show off, like, oh, and I've got, I'm doing this, and I've signed up for that, and I'm like, but I just need to have a place to say it and not hold back what I'm actually doing that I feel so grateful to have this month where I, like I said, I only have a couple of hours of work every day. And the rest of the time is like, what do, what do I need? And listening to my heart and cooking good food and going to yoga and sleeping. And so, um, I just wanted to share what my life situation is right now. And I just, I'm going to be out there with what I'm doing and I'm not competing with anyone. I'm not comparing myself to anyone. I'm just grateful that I have this time to really immerse myself in this and knowing that the next time it may be <laughs> eliminating one thing or coming back into balance. But this time I'm like really, really using <laughs> the support that's here to um, get back in touch with me. Mm. I appreciate that very much, Andrea, that you said that. That's really good. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And I, I do too. Hold back. I don't want to hold back. No, don't. I want to be able to say, yay, I went to yin yoga today, you know, or yay, I went to Tai Chi. And it's, I'm not competing with anyone. I just oh, want to there be, I am. I, yeah. <laughs> I want to be my best self. And um, so I just wanted to say it out loud. Yes. I'm very happy you said it out loud. And I'm going to celebrate all the stuff that you're doing. Like, yay, yay, because that's, that's the thing. And it, you're sharing that experience. And I think it's, I'm glad you said that too for, you know, people who will be listening to the replay on like, it's all about where you're at at this time and not to be hard on like, oh my goodness, she's doing all of that and I need to do that and stuff. And it's really about like, what can I do right. with what, where I'm at in my life at this time? And it really, really can be just a couple things. It doesn't, you don't have to follow it to the tea, you know, and you'll still get the results. Like you said, Andrea, you, because I remember last time you were talking about, you even wrote that, you know, um, and I've used that on my page that, you know, like you, you talked about, you know, I did a couple things mm -hmm. and that was enough for me during that time. I didn't follow it 100% and I still got my desired results because it's like the one thing might just be like, I'm just going to explore how I feel eating more alkaline foods you know that might be it you know and 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 exactly. 
And so it's wherever, you know, whatever your intentions are and um, whatever you want to do. And then if you want to go, you know, and you have that ability, which is wonderful, then you go all in and you, you, you play and you experiment and you, and you share and, and that's just as exciting and we're going to be celebrating you doing that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I just want to be able to have that place to celebrate. That's really one of the main reasons I'm doing it is like accountability yep. in that way that, that yes, I have this time <laughs> to gift, do it, go for it, be it. Yes. Embody it. So yeah, so yeah, so like I said, tomorrow will be body, you'll be getting stuff. So each day you'll be getting stuff in your email and and usually in the morning, early in the morning and stuff. And then but I'll also be posting on the Facebook group and not going to say I'll do a Facebook live video every day, <laughs> but I will be doing several Facebook live videos and they'll be there that you can watch. And a lot of times what I will do is actually um, tape them and send them to people, you know, to see them, you they can have them or whatever. So, so, and if you have any questions or anything that comes up, feel free to post in the um, um, Facebook group because I'm very active and I look in there and stuff like that. So you can post in there and your question might be someone else's question. But say you just kind of are like, well, I just, you know, don't want anyone. I think it's really going to be like four of us because Leslie's in it. So I think it'll be four. Like I said, I'm, I'm keeping it, at the, it open till midnight. So we'll see. My attention's a couple more people, but that's okay. <laughs> and so if it's just us, so you know that, you know, you know each other. Marianne, you know Leslie. De, de, um, what's her last name? Debro? I don't think so I don't yeah okay she's part of um OPN um but anyway so so yes yeah, so feel free to post in there or you know if you're just like ah oh, you can also email me you know you can email me I'm always checking that like if you're just like what I don't know you know or send me a message like if you're like I don't know should I I've had people who have actually literally and I'm okay with it took a picture of something in the store and go do you think I should have this <laughs> and then I always go back and say well, what are the ingredients today? Is that on the list? <laughs> They're like, ah, I just wanted it. <laughs> so I'm okay with that too. All right. All right. Great. So let's just take a deep breath. Close, close our little, ah, so much, so much wonderful stuff shared and just a deep breath for each of us. I'm just going to hold that space for, Andrea, for Mary Jane, for Leslie, and for whoever else, that other space, for whoever else who could be listening to this, who joins later. We're just going to breathe that in, knowing as we go along our 14 days together, supporting each other, celebrating each other, sharing our celebrations, sharing our challenges, and knowing that it's all good. And it's just our process. And just breathing that in and remembering to listen to our body and whatever our body is wanting during this time, these 14 days together. <sighs> ah. Thank you. All righty, ladies. Great. Well, have a great Thanks rest of the evening. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you on Facebook or later on. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.